I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Now I'm going to hit uh, Shift D, duplicate that, hit G, Y, move the plane back behind the actual uh, text word. And then we're going to go ahead. Now you see we have much more particles. We have bigger ones. We have smaller ones. We have ones back there in front of the text, behind the text. Very cool stuff. Um, looks really nice. Now, um, I enjoy this quite a bit, but we need some depth of field. So I'm going to select our camera. Go to the camera tab here and, sh and check depth of field. Now it's going to make everything kind of blurry if we go ahead and open it up and change the f-stop way down there. Um, but that's not, oop, that's not, that's too blurry. So I'm going to undo that and we're going to do maybe point, ah, no, I think that was fine. That's fine on point one, I like the way it looks. Um, but I want to change the focus distance. So right now, if we were to take a look at this, you could see that if I turn on... Uh, yeah, bah, 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 viewport display limits. You can see the limits right here. This plus needs to be directly on the text or else it's going to be blurry. So I'm going to change the focus distance down until we hit the front of the actual text right here, right on the right on the front. Hit zero to go back to the camera's view. Now you can see the text is clear and everything else is blurry. Very, very neat stuff. So um, I like this quite a bit. I like this, but it's quite a lot of particles. So I'm going to go to the particle tab of our uh, of our plane change this down from 400 to 200 because we've duplicated the plane now we do have 400 particles back instead of 800 so uh looks good i like it and turn off render stuff for a second enjoy this quite a bit looks very cinematic and the last thing that i want to do is i want to move our uh text word around a little bit um actually i want to move our camera forget that i want to move the camera around a little bit so i'm going to drag this open from the top hand side and i'm going to go ahead oops, i'm going to go ahead and and choose the graph editor the gra the gra the graph editor thank you and we're going to select our camera up here we're going to go ahead and go to the first frame uh which i'm going to make the zero frame because you know uh, hit I on our keyboard and we're going to insert a uh, location keyframe and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hit this little button open over here on the side on the right hand side go to modifiers add modifier noise and then we're going to play this now you can see we have noise but that's way oops, that's backwards way too much noise so I'm going to change the scale to 10 instead of 1 and the strength to 0 0.2 um, maybe that's still not enough uh, I think that's fine um, Maybe 20 instead of 10. Yeah, 20 instead of 10 and 0.2 for that. So I'm in this little button right here to copy that information. And we're going to downsize the open, actually open up, sorry, this right here and go to Y location and paste that. Then we're going to change the offset to a random value just so it's not the same exact thing. Just drag it into a different direction. Um, and then hit Z, paste it, and then just drag it upwards or down or wherever just so it's not exactly the same. Now I feel like... Um, this is swaying to the left too much and it's not going to the right too much So I'm gonna go ahead and just play around with these offsets until I feel like it's even on both sides I know it's pretty good the way it looks like that now I still think there's a little bit too many particles So we're gonna go ahead and change our number from 200 to 100 now total in the scene We have 200 particles because we have two different planes very neato um, I enjoy this quite a bit, my ladies and gentlemen. I think that's going to be it for today's tutorial. I really quickly want to animate the text, and we'll go ahead and hit I on our text uh, rotation, and then we'll skip up like maybe 20 frames, hit I uh, rotation, and then on frame 60, hit I rotation, and we will leave it like that. So on frame 0, I want to hit RX, rotate the text about right there, hit I rotation then on 20 I'm gonna move it about right there the bulk of the work is done hit I rotation cool stuff now it does like this it kind of rotates up a little bit and then comes and lands where it's supposed to land now on frame 110 I might want to rotate it upwards a little bit more like that but you see we get an issue with our um, with our, our our lamp so I'm gonna change our area lamp a little bit I think that's the area lamp that's causing that issue. Yeah, it is. Um, so I'm going to just da, 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 do something like this. Maybe scale it up a little bit in both directions. Um, yeah, I think that's fine the way that that is. I think I like that. And then what is it like when I do like this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it kind of comes up. Oh, yeah, I like that quite a bit. I'm going to change the material of this, and I'm going to make that kind of sharp like that so we're on point five eight I want to do just regular point uh, five cool point five on the text there and yeah I enjoy that 
very cool so it kind of comes up you can't really see what it says and then the light kind of comes in you can see it says cinematic very cool um, I want to put a lamp underneath the text as well so I'm just gonna hit shift a added that lamp and then just hit GY move it down there it was a point lamp just a simple little point lamp um, but it's kind of giving problems right now so you see that little ball I'm gonna uncheck uh, I'm gonna turn down also sorry, specular so it doesn't give that weird reflection but it, it's still lighting the scene though cool um, there we go very neat now the light in the back which is just the regular light it says I kind of want to change this to maybe you know, we'll just leave it on a point lamp and I'll just turn it down a lot like maybe I'll just get rid of it all together hit delete what does it look like it looks much uh, better it's like un more unlit I like that but you can still see it though which is nice so I like that quite a bit. Very cool. And the light comes in. I like that. Very sweet. So I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. That's going to be it for me today. Um, but yeah, that is it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.